Watson. You might recognize me from early morning spin, but today I'm going to teach you a bar workout. So as with our in-person programs, please refer to the physical activity readiness questionnaire before starting a fitness program. Some people may need to check with their doctor to make sure this is safe. And when participating with these exercise videos, common sense is key. So make sure your area to work out is free of obstacles. By participating in these exercises, you are doing so at your own risk, and SMU will not be responsible for any injury or harm you sustain as a result. So everything we're gonna to do today in bar is low impact. You need little to no gear. If you like, you can grab yourself a high back chair or a bar stool like I'm gonna use. If you don't have one of those available, a kitchen counter can be a perfect height. And if you still don't have one available, you can do this without the prop. It's actually gonna engage your core a little more deeply because you're gonna to have to balance everything without your prop. Uh, and you'll see I have a light set of hand weights and a tube, which I'll show you where you can choose to integrate them. You don't have to use those though. Uh, and if you'd like to add some music in the background for your class, the great thing about bar is this pace is gonna work with most pop music. So you can go ahead and start up your favorite playlist uh, and let that back up your workout. So we're gonna start with just some isolations, get our bodies moving and warmed up. So let's bring our feet outside our hips, take a nice gentle bend in our knees. The big inhale, let's reach up, stretch tall. Exhale, reach it out. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. Let's do that two more times. And this last one, we're gonna hold our arms up. Soften these a little more. We're gonna extend one side of the body and then reach opposite. So really lengthening along our obliques, extending across the rib cage. Let's do four, three, two, Last one, let's reach the arms forward now. Right arm first, we're gonna open it up back. Little twist, reach forward, reach back, and forward. So we're gonna keep our hips facing forward, rotate from our waist, gaze follows our hand back. Let's do two more. Other side, reach it back and forward. Four more. Two more. Yeah, we're gonna drop the arms here, right hip circles. Good. Nice big circle. For four. Three. Two. Left hip, same thing. Looking for a full range of motion here. Just loosening up for four, three, two. Yeah, we're gonna walk the feet together. Hands on our knees, circle. Nice long back here. Other way, circle. For four, three, Two, we're gonna walk the feet nice and wide now. So from one side to the other, let's bend for two. Other way, for two. Little pulse here. Yeah, let's do four more each side. Three. Two, last one. Good, we're gonna heel and toe the feet back together now. Shoulder roll. And other way. Reach forward, nice big bear hug, and then open, lift our chest. 
round forward and open. So it's almost like a cat and a cow that we do in a yoga flow. Lengthening our back and then opening our chest. Let's do three more. Two. Last one. Good, drop the arms, shake that out. All right, we're gonna come to our bar to start. And we're gonna start facing our bar with our hands lightly on it. Feet are under our hips, parallel, so our toes are pointing forward. We're gonna ever so slightly drop our tailbone and pull our belly button into our spine. Okay, starting with our chair sits. We're gonna sit the hips back and lift. Sit and lift. So it's a smaller move than a squat, but it's the same type of form. Your weight is back in your heels. You're sending the tailbone back. Let's do eight more. Sit and lift. I'm gonna really squeeze as we come up. Here, four, three, Two. Now we're going to hold it at the bottom, little pulse. Stay down. Pulse for four, three, two. We're going to do all that again. You can stay here. You have the option to lift your heels up from this position. Chair sit, sits down and up. So same form, our back stays nice and long. Four more singles. Three, two, you know what's next. Hold it down and pulse. Almost there, we pulse for four, three, two. We're gonna put this all together. Looks like this. We drop the heels, sit, lift, releve, drop. So chair sit, heels up, press, lower. Let's do four more. Two more. Let's reverse it. Same move. Lift it up. Sit back. Drop the heels and lift. Four more like this. Finish with one last set of pulses for eight, seven. So it's small here, it's controlled. Last four, three, two, and slowly we rise. All right, let's give those legs a little shake. We're gonna step away from our bar. We're gonna do a set of classic squats. You do not have to have equipment, but if you like, this is where you can add your resistance band. So we're gonna step underneath. We're gonna cross. Your hands can be at your hips. If you prefer, they can be up at your chest. Weight is in our heels, knees are soft. We'll start with singles, hips down and up. Right, so the weight stays over the heels the whole time. Give your toes a little wiggle, make sure you can move them around. Do eight more singles, down and up. Squeezing the glutes as we lift. Four more. Three, two, 
Hold it down and pulse. Small move, lots of control here. Halfway there, four, three, two. We're gonna go back to that single pace. We're gonna add a press back, looks like this. Down, push back, down, push back. So we're gonna alternate our legs. Foot stays flexed. And we're pressing back to engage that glute. Do one more set. Eight. For four. Three. Two. Let's engage the side now. Sit it down like we're going to pulse. Left leg. Tap for two. Bring it in. Tap. Two. And in. Way there, four more. Tap, tap, bring it in. Two more. Last one. We gotta do the other side. Right leg, tap it. One, two, and in. Tap, tap, bring it in. Way there, four more. Tap, tap, and in. Three more. Two more. Back to singles, it's down and up. For four, three, two, Last set with the press back. Down, press it back. Four more each side. Down and press. Down and press. Three. Two. Last one. Nice and slow, lift it up. Good job, give your legs a shake. You can throw this tube off to the side, we're done with it. We're gonna come back to our bar. Inside out is gonna rest softly. Starting with your toes pointing forward, I want you to keep your weight exactly where it is. Turn the toes out. Okay, so we're not gonna force them open, shifting our weight as we go. It's just a little natural turnout. Your outside arm can be in first position. Or if you don't like that, hand on your hip. I want you to stand up nice and tall, lift through the top of your head, and then keeping your back nice and straight like we're sliding up and down a wall, we're gonna start with some single plies. It's down and up. If you take a little peek down, your knees are gonna to point towards your toes. And it's a small move. Eight more. So as we rise, we're drawing our inner thighs together. For four, three, two, hold it down and pulse, little pulse. Pulse for four, three, we're going to stay at the bottom, pop the hips, lift and lift. Squeeze the obliques here for four, three, two, back to center, heels up, it's down and up. So again, this is just an option, if this doesn't feel good, heels can come back down anytime. Eight more singles. Four, three, two, hold 
the downward pulse. Pulsing for four, three. All right, last move on this side. Hips are going to circle. Looks like this. Either way, you of course have the option to drop your heels anytime. Good, come to center, we're gonna switch sides of our bar. Opposite arm is in first position now. Same thing, we're gonna put it together. Let's start with eight singles. Four, three, Two, pulse it just for four, three, two, here's where we put it together. Ready? Down, heels lift, press it up, and we drop. Down, heels lift, drop. Four more like this. Two more. You know what's next. Reverse it. Lift it up. Plie. Heels drop and we rise. Four more. Two more. Right, we're going to come into our wide plies next. The feet are going to step outside of our hips. Toes are going to point to the corner. If you want to add your arm, this time it is in second position. Extend it out. If that doesn't feel good, hand on your hip is still an option. Let's take a nice big shoulder roll here. We'll lift the top of our head, standing tall. Again, with the knees pointing towards our toes. We plie. Eight singles. Eight pulses. And we change our position. We pulse. A little lift in the elbow here so that arm is strong. Outside heel lift, single plies. Four, three, two, hold it down and pulse. Eight counts. Right, four, three, two, good. Slowly up. Let's switch sides of our bar. Changing arms. Feet are still in second position. Arm is in second position. Outside heel lift. Single plies. For four, three, two. Hold it down and pulse. Eight counts. Last set, you can lift both heels or drop both heels. Singles. Four more. Stay down and pulse. Last time for eight. Seven. Six. You can drop the heels if you need any time. Last four. Three, two, and we're down, lift it up. Give those legs a good shake. You can probably see mine shaking in the video. That means you're working. We're gonna give the lower body a little break and do a quick set for our upper body. So if you have hand weights, here's where you can grab them. 
two to five pounds are a good range. If you don't have hand weights, go ahead and grab two water bottles or two soup cans, or just do the move without. Let's start with our feet outside of our hips, palms facing our body. Take a nice big shoulder roll, and keeping that belly button pulled in, core engaged, we're gonna hinge forward. Nice long back here, gaze is on the floor just in front of you. And row the arms up. Now squeeze the shoulder blades together. Two more. Hold it up, we pulse. Eight. Seven. Third four. Three. Two. Rolling up, flipping the palms out, bicep curls. So elbows stay tucked in close to our sides. Squeezing the bicep. Halfway up, we pulse for eight, seven, six. It's a small move. Fingers are loose here. We want a soft grip. From this position, turn it out and in. So again, the elbows stay close to our body. We're just rotating out and in for four, three, two, halfway out, little pulse. Keep it small, keep it controlled. We pulse for four, three, two, Last move, press the weights forward, present, pull it in. Almost like we're serving a platter, out and in. Four more. Two, no pulse for this one. Good, slowly lower, we're gonna bring our weights behind us. Nice big shoulder roll, palms press back. We lift and lower, tricep press back. For four, three, two, halfway up, little pulse for eight. Four, three, two, and facing me, feet a little wider than hips. Now lift front for two and lower. This one's a little slower, requires lots of control. We want to lift no higher than our shoulders here. Same thing to the side, lift it up, two, and down. So your weights can always be lower than the shoulders. Maybe you only come up halfway, that's fine. We just don't want to be higher. Let's take this to a single move, one arm at a time. Right and left. Now side, front, and side, four more to the front, to the side, two more, good, now we're going to walk our feet a little wider here, turn the toes out. Arms are going to reach to the side. We're going to plie and open. Plie, open. So just like we did at our bar, our back is nice and long and straight. Sliding up and down. Eight more. Four more. This is your last set with the weights. Three, two, and one. Slowly lower. Let's set our weights off to the side. We're gonna come back to our bar. For my favorite exercise, we're gonna do our kick series. I'm gonna move up a little, give myself a little room behind. You're gonna kick in all four directions, sorry, all three directions. So make sure you have lots of space. 
So we're gonna be in our first position turnout again. So as we kick, heel presents to the front. When we kick side, we follow our toe, so it's out on an angle. And when we press back, it's the heel, so we're still turned out. If you wish to add the arms, front kick, side kick, back kick. If you don't like that, hand on the hip is always your option. Let's come to first position, we're gonna start with our front kick. For four, three, to the side for four. To the back for four. Brushing the floor as we kick and then squeeze it in to the side, four. Let's take this to singles. Front, side, Side, do it again. To the front, we pulse it. Four, three, two, and side. Pulse it. Four, and back, and side. One more time. Pulse it. Front, and side. And back. Finish with the side. Four, three, two, and we're going to move to the other side. So you can turn around, you can rotate like me, you can flip your bar. Same thing. Ready? Front kick. Four. Side kick for four. Kick, four, and side. Back to the front, singles. One more time, one in each direction. You know what's next, to the front, we pulse. And to the side. To the back. And side. One more time, pulse it, front. And side. And back. And side. Give that a good shake. We're gonna stretch our legs at the edge. You can pause and stretch anytime you need. Next up, we're gonna face our bar. Two hands on the bar. We're gonna start with our feet turned out. Let's plant our right foot down into the floor. Left foot's gonna lift up with a bent knee and a flexed foot. We're gonna take that left knee and we're lift it up. So it's a small little move. Four more. Now we pulse. For four, three, two. We're gonna stay balanced. We're gonna pivot the right toes in, turn everything parallel, point the left toe, press it up. So you're pushing the toe back, at the same time you're lifting up the heel for four, three, two, and we pulse it. Pulse for four, three, two, last position, left leg, lift side, and in. Lift and lower. For four, three, two, last set, we pulse it, eight. Should be 
feel that in the right standing leg, yes? And slowly lower. Other side, we're gonna lift our left leg. So turn out, bend the left knee, flex the foot. We start with single lifts. Take it up and down. Lift and lower. For four, three, two. Little pulse here, eight counts. Four, three, two. We're gonna pivot everything in. So if we're in parallel, we're gonna point the right toe, press it back, release. Press, release. For four, three, two. Hold it up and pulse it, press, press. For four, three, two, last set, lifted side, to get it out and in. For four, three, two, final set, we pulse it, eight and seven. Four, three, two, and lower slowly. Give the legs a good shake. We're gonna stay facing our bar for lunges. So you're gonna be fairly close to your bar. We'll start with our right foot forward. Left foot steps back. Roll the shoulders, lift the chest, standing tall. We're gonna lunge and lift. Four more, three, two, you guessed it. We stay down and pulse it. Halfway there, pulse for four, three. Second set on the right leg, you can stay or lift the right heel down and up. Four more singles. Stay down and pulse. Last eight, seven, six. Good, lots of control for four, three. No break, we're gonna switch our legs right away. Left foot steps forward, right step back. Singles, sits down and up. Four, three, two, stay down and pulse it. Eight counts. Four, three, two, second set, left heel lifts, it's down and up. Again, if this does not feel good, go ahead and keep the left heel planted. Four more singles. Finish it with the pulses. Eight, seven, six. Almost there, last four. Three, two, and drop the heel. Come on up. Good job, give those legs a shake. We just have one more quick exercise in our bar. You can turn or you can stay facing. We're gonna do some calf lifts. So we're gonna start with our feet in parallel right under the hips. We're gonna turn our heels out, take a pigeon toe position. We'll move them open to second position and then we'll turn the toes out. Okay, one set in each. Starting with the feet narrow and parallel. Lift and lower. Four more singles. Only come halfway, pulse. Okay. 
keep pulsing for four, three, two. Good, drop the heels, turn them out. Singles. Here we go, the lift and lower. Four more. Pulse it, only come halfway down. For four, three, two. Good, heels drop, we bring the feet under the hips, maybe a little wider than the hips, second position. Lift and lower. set. Second position turned out. Feet are just a little bit wider. Ready? Lift and lower. For four, three, two, all the way up, halfway down we pulse. Give your legs a good shake. That is it for our bar workout. We're ready to stretch. We're gonna stay facing our bar for balance if you like. Let's keep the right foot forward. Step the left foot back. We're gonna drop our heel and lean forward. So nice bend in that right knee. Elongate through your spine and then press the left heel down to the floor. Let's take a few deep breaths here. One more breath, deep inhale. And a nice big exhale. And we'll lift up the left heel. We're gonna drop that back knee down. Bring the left hip forward, so a little tilt here. It's almost like we're gonna drop the glute down and pull the hip flexor forward. You're gonna feel that stretch right down the front of your hip. If you're not quite feeling that, maybe come a little deeper, maybe tilt a little further. Feel that extend. One more deep breath. And we're gonna come up. We're gonna bring that left foot up into our palm and for a quad stretch. So again, let's tilt that hip flexor forward. You're gonna feel that down the front of your leg. If you need it a little bit deeper, you can just gently press the top of your left foot into your left hand. One more deep breath. And we're gonna bring this left foot across the right leg. Let's flex the foot first and then use your bar for balance. Send the hips back. Even with the bar, this might feel a little bit unstable. This is a great one to be down on the floor. You can lie on your back and take this exact same position. One more deep breath. And slowly come up, we're gonna bring that to the other side. So left foot in closer to our bar, right foot steps back, we're gonna drop the heel, we're gonna lean forward. Just a nice bend through our left knee here, long back, and then press that right heel down. Okay, 
just kind of focus on your breaths here. Taking long, deep breaths through our nose. Let's take one more. And we'll pick up that right heel, drop the back knee, sliding our right hip forward. Another inch, take another deep breath. And if we come on up, we're gonna bring that right foot up into our hand. Again, slightly bring the right hip forward. And then maybe start to press the top of your foot into your palm. Deep breath. We're going to take this right leg, cross it over the left, flex our foot, and then sit back. So we're sending the hips straight back in space here. The back stays nice and long. One more deep breath, maybe come a little lower. And we'll lift up, come back to center. Let's take a nice deep breath in together, reach up tall, lifting our chest. And as we exhale, bring our hands down to our heart. And that's our bar workout for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun and had a good workout.